good afternoon once again. Thank you. Big shout out to all those who have tuned in with us in this journey. Um, and for those who are tuning in for the first time, it's an awesome journey. It's an insightful journey. We're here to give you guys information, give you guys knowledge. Those that have been around already know this. Um, and we welcome the new individuals who are tuning in now. We ask that if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any feedback, if there's something that you're looking for, some information that you're seeking, please leave it in our section box. We thank you so much. We can't thank you enough for all the feedback that we've seen thus far. And we continue to humbly request that you continue to ask your questions, give us feedback. Um, and if there are any experts out there, um, of, of experts of the paving industry, please share. We welcome your expertise as well. Anything that's going to be beneficial to those who are trying to learn about this or those who are getting ready to undergo their own personal uh, projects and, and that information can be useful to them, we welcome that any given time, right? We never, we'll never, we'll never tell you that we are the only professionals in this industry. No, we are one of the many um, who, again, just want to make this, uh, make this into something that's going to be beneficial to all um, who at some point will encounter pavement or paving, right? So um, thank you again to all of you guys who are tuning in. We welcome those that are new. Um, so yeah, okay. Please, please don't forget, if you are trying to make yourself more informed about the paving industry um, and the various aspects of pavement, Please follow us, watch us, seek us out <laughs> through YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're trying to get as creative as possible to share this information as best as we can and reach out to as many. Um, but if there's something that you guys can, can also advise us uh, of how we can do that better or more effectively, please let us know. Don't forget, we are We Love Paving. This is our number right here, 888-273. 0077 as you can see here are some of the services that we provide um, one that isn't on there that we always share with you guys is we are here for you right so if you guys have any questions if you guys want to become more informed you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation please give us a call back it's free of charge if you guys want us to go out to your property uh, to give you a better assessment of what's going on and how to remedy uh, your current concerns you know we offer that as well free inspections and that includes ADA type of uh, pavement right so we work closely with CASP inspectors who can own, who not only do your uh, do an assessment on your parking lot parking stalls but also all the ADA even including what's inside your facility which you know involves a lot of other ADA stuff that we here at we love paving aren't professionals at but those cast inspectors are and we guys and we have those guys at the ready to go whenever we give them a call they're they're, they're available okay so don't forget that um give us a simple give us a call and we can answer any questions that you may have all right i said it earlier there's been a lot of feedback a lot of questions and we appreciate that there is someone that has asked us a question uh recently that we haven't answered but i promise you we're going to answer we may answer that right now or may answer that a little bit later what do you think ismail yeah, so we tried to get through all our questions. We didn't manage to get through all of them, but one of them did really stand out. It was from Maggard Striping. Hopefully I said that correctly. If not correct me, I'm bad with names. Um, <laughs> so we didn't manage to get to their question, but we're going to get to it right now. So the question was, how many times have you fell so I'm going to answer that question, but I can't believe I, I, I butcher this, right? How can I not welcome you guys, Ismail? Ismail is the guy that allows for all this to happen. You guys have heard me say this before, and I want to continue to emphasize that because he is the man behind the scenes that allows all of this to happen. So, Ismail, welcome again, and thank you for being here. Thank you for helping me out. So the question was, how many times have I fallen or have I fell yeah. in Tioko? So thank God I have never... Uh, fell in a seal coat project or in seal coats um, and I think that goes a little bit that goes that talks or goes towards the amount of uh, 
how important safety is here for us at We Love Paving. We try to do all our projects in a very safe and efficient manner. Um, you know, the way we do it to prevent things like that is to make sure all the small things are tight, um, that we are doing it in a, uh, whenever we're doing, see, we're applying seal code to a, some type of uh, asphalt surface, that we do it in a methodical fashion that prevents us to, uh, from falling on seal code, right? So, in essence, keep the seal code in front of you, all the work that you're doing in front of you, uh, make sure that what's behind you is safe so that you always have that safety net behind you and you don't end up falling. But, but I actually have seen someone fall in seal coat. And, uh, you know, I said keep all those, pay attention to all the little small things, because those things can lead to big things. So this person was doing a good job, um, but his boot lays came untied, got tangled in the squeegee stick that we use to kind of spread the seal coat and to pressure the seal coat into going into those small little cracks. Um, yeah, his boot lays got tangled with the stick, tripped and fell. And uh, I have been saying for a while now that seal coat is extremely amazing for your asphalt, but it's for your asphalt, not a person or a tire. And unfortunately, he had asphalt on his right side, but it's definitely a lesson learned. Wow. Hope you guys gave him a shower before you guys left the site. Shower. What's the shower? shower? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I like how you mentioned, though, earlier uh, in your introduction that you know, if any experts out there do have some type of knowledge that they want to you know, share with everybody, you know, like we're doing right now, I, I'd welcome the idea of partnering with somebody you know, who is an expert in the field just like we are to share knowledge and provide you know, our audience with even more knowledge. I think that's really awesome. So if there's any of you out there, just give us a message on Instagram. We check it regularly, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you, you desire. Yeah, I mean, we here at, at We Love Paving, we have a foreman that have you know, 30 plus years in various aspects of uh, paving. Uh, and so if we have that, and that's just one individual, right? Not to mention all the rest of them, but that's just as an example. I can only imagine other foreman and other companies, the amount of experience they have. We couple all that experience and all this, it can make for this journey uh, to be even better um, and definitely produce as, as much information Okay, so, um, sorry Ismail, let's continue on. I think we need to address every question that we've seen yeah. this far. Um, and if you have any any questions that you can think of that are commonly asked about seal code, you know, please ask that, let's go through that now so that we can give these uh, viewers an answer that they're probably looking for as well. Yeah, of course, because I know seal code definitely is something that we get people see that nice shiny black top and they're like, I want that. I want that seal coat, but now I know, learning from all you guys, that it's not that simple of just putting seal coat on any pavement. You know, there has to be some sort of minimum life in the pavement for you guys to do seal coat. And I think these these questions that we have, you know, are going to answer that. Of course, absolutely, I agree with that. So let me get into this. So one of our first questions that we do have is. A, a fairly a fairly simple one what is seal coating and what does it do so you know I failed to mention this but you know I think last week we were talking about concrete and we kind of gave you guys the uh, some information on concrete um, things that you can use concrete for and I think in that video along with the asphalt video where we did the same thing that we did in concrete um, I talked about maintenance right and so seal coating you know what is it what seal coating is literally the the pinnacle of maintenance for for asphalt pavement right now there's been times recently actually this week i, I saw and i think i mentioned it to you guys last week as well um so, so not this week but the week before saw some concrete with seal coat on it you know the seal coat is a sealer right it's meant for asphalt but uh sometimes people worry about aesthetics as well and they want your entire parking lot to look the same and when you do apply seal coat on uh, asphalt surface that is uh, adequate to receive that you know to receive seal coat uh, it looks extremely nice and I think we have a photo here that we're gonna show to everyone here a little bit later so that they understand a little bit better what I'm saying right now um, but yeah nevertheless seal coat 
is is a a form of maintenance for your asphalt surface, right? Um, seal coat is literally a coat of sealer that you put on your asphalt, and you do it to ensure uh, to extend the life of your asphalt, to protect your asphalt from you know, potential potholes, um, from the different elements, air, water, oxygen, right? And again, all, ultimately what that does is just extend the life of your asphalt. And that is what the seal code is for. And that's what it does. Okay, so essentially it's like clear coat on a vehicle. So you have your paint and then you have a clear coat that goes on top of it as a protection or a sealer. Absolutely. I mean, awesome example, right? Um, can we expect we expect a sealant um, to protect you from future dents on that car? Uh, can we uh, expect seal coat to uh, prevent a crack in your asphalt? A little bit, but not too much, right? Can we expect seal coat to bring together a large crack? No, right? So there is an extent of or there is a degree that seal coat is uh, how we can help you extend your, your asphalt life, um, but there, it reaches a point where it's not gonna do, it's not gonna fix your asphalt. Yeah, no, 100%, I, I see that. And, and you know, going back to my analogy, it's like, you know, you getting a scratch on your car, yeah, the clear coat would protect it, but if you get hit by another car, I don't think the clear coat's gonna protect it. Yeah. If there is something out there, please let me know because I would like to put that on my, my truck. Oh, yeah, 100%. I want to put that on my car too. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's the next question? We got why is seal coating important for asphalt surfaces? I think you kind of touched a little bit on that right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's like being the dead horse, but I, wanna, I do want to beat this dead horse um, in a figurative way, not in a literal sense. Um, Please, for those of you guys that have asphalt that are in still, that is still in good condition, um, if you've done it within the last five years, if you've done it within, within the last 10 years and it's still in good shape, and you haven't done seal, you haven't seal coated your property, do that, right? It's like, as, as I mentioned to you guys in the video where we talked about asphalt, you know, asphalt can last anywhere between 12, 25 years, and you can extend that a little bit more if you are doing the proper maintenance, right? And in this case, in particular seal coat right so I, I cannot emphasize that enough it's extremely important if you haven't done it do it do it so that you can extend your life and, and it reduces your overall cost as you look at it uh, from a holistic perspective right if you're planning to keep that property for a hundred years um, and it can last you anywhere between 12 years imagine if you're doing the seal coat every three to four years right and now every time you, you, you redo your asphalt pavement it's lasting you 25 years. So that means you would have to do it four years in that 100 year span, right? Just an example. But if you don't do seal coating and it lasts you only 12 years, right? That's just that many more times that you would have to do it. So, so seal coat is very important. Very important. All right, let's see. How often, how often should I have my asphalt surface and seal coated? So you, you suggested three to four years so and you said that's every how many years so let's say so if you do it every three to four years what what is the life you know span of that you know is it going to last forever if i do it three to four years or is it going to get to a certain point where i have no choice but to put down new asphalt yeah so that's that's hard hard question to answer um the first part of that question would be generally speaking right a parking lot that has you know a healthy amount of traffic coming through um, three to four years is a general rule that you want to go, go with right so three to four years um, redo your your seal coat um, how long that will extend the life of your asphalt really depends on the usage right um, other factors is you know are you closer to the coast Right? because the wind moves a lot more there are you in the valley or in a bowl where the wind is you know it's, it's very windy there all of those things are you in an area where the where there's a lot of you know it's very hot there is direct sunlight on your asphalt 
um, there's heavy trucks driving on your asphalt, there isn't good drainage or the drainage is so-so and there's water pulling on top of your asphalt or on the sides of your asphalt. All of those factors, you know, really affect the lifespan of your asphalt, right? So, but a general rule is if you're, if, if all those things, let's say are average or are of the norm, then every three to four years is when you should have to do your seal coat. Um, as, as far as the last part of your question or questions, um, how often are you gonna have to, if you do seal coat, how often are you gonna have to do repair your asphalt or should you repair your asphalt? The, the, the easiest way to, to determine that is take a look at your asphalt, right? Um, seal coat is there to protect what you have. If what you have is bad asphalt, then it's gonna protect bad asphalt. But if you have good asphalt, then it's gonna protect that. Right? So if you have cracks, you know, major cracks, if you have cracks that are big enough that allow water to seep in it and get underneath it, um, then you know the, the easy answer there is repair that portion that has cracks. And if that's all of your pavement, then you know the, the the only suggestion at that point is to get rid of it all and replace it and don't apply seal coat to something that isn't good right no one protects trash right you don't you don't protect your trash can right that's why raccoons get into your trash cans and they're now identified as the biggest thieves right at night anyways it's just kind of going on a tangent there but um we don't protect trash for a reason right so same thing with asphalt you know if your asphalt is bad conditions don't waste your money one thing that I want to share in here um, not sure if you were gonna ask this or not but um, seal coat costs as compared to repair asphalt repair costs drastically different right obviously depending on the size but if you take you know a 1,000 square foot area of asphalt repairs you know ballpark number you're probably looking at if it's a thousand you're probably looking at you know ten thousand dollars right um somewhere in there right if you are seal coating ten thousand square feet you're probably looking at a couple of hundred gallons of seal coat which means that your price is going to be somewhere like you know somewhere between two and four thousand maybe all right so Maybe not even that, maybe a little bit cheaper than that, right? So like drastically different. So just please be mindful of that as you guys are trying to preserve your pavement, your asphalt pavement, be mindful of that, right? And um, and kind of weigh that out into your, or factor that in into your, you know, your pavement budget or your facilities budget. Um, I would rather pay a thousand, two thousand bucks under that, the context of what I just shared every three to four years than to pay 10,000 bucks, you know, every five years because you're not protecting your, your ass for five to 10 years. Google Paving has a lot of options and one of them is our pothole free guaranteed. So if we come by and seal code every three to four years, we can guarantee you that you will not have any potholes or cracks or go and and do them for free. We'll fill them in for free at the extra charge to you because that's our guarantee of our work. Yeah, so yeah, our, our warranties are, the warranties that we have here are pretty good. For asphalt, you know, if we do a full remove and replace, we take out all your bad. Uh, and I, I explained this in our uh, asphalt video, so if you don't, if you haven't watched it, please, we, we encourage you guys to go watch that. It explains it all. But if we do a full remove and replace, we give you a 15 year warranty, pothole free warranty. So if at any given time, there are no 15, that 15 year, 10 year pothole arises, that isn't from like, um, you know, natural disasters like earthquakes, or from like, you decided to plant a huge tree next to it, now a root uplifted your asphalt. Yeah, you know, give us a call. We're going out there free of charge to you and we're gonna go repair that, right? So it's a consumer item, right? The more, the more people drive on it, you don't have the proper measures to prevent people from um, messing with your pavement. Like, you know, there's people that, for some reason, I think the vehicles that you don't have to open or not. 
right? And that's what usually people put, people put Google stops in the middle of our content. But you know, that, that wears, that tears to your grasp, especially to the ceiling. So, so in that tears that you're seeing, yeah, yeah. 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 it's a really good tool to preserve your life of your So, yeah, no, that's really good. So you're saying I shouldn't do uh, donuts and people parking lots? <laughs> I think that that's wrong. Yes, yes you shouldn't. Just kidding, guys. I don't do that. I don't do that. Trust me. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next question before uh, I put anything else in my information out there. Can I apply seal coding myself or should I hire a professional? Ooh. You, luckily, you're not asking that question. I would counter that with a lot of questions. But uh, um, yeah, it just depends, right? If you are, if you feel confident enough to do it, or um, even if you don't feel com- confident with doing it, you know, it doesn't. If it's something small, relatively small, it doesn't hurt to, to try it, right? Try it to see if you can do it. Because obviously, if you do it yourself, yourself, you're saving yourself some some bucks. Uh, even though, like I mentioned, seal code isn't seal coding isn't really expensive at all, right? It's, you know, take whatever square feet you have and multiply it by, you know, 50 cents or 60 cents. Right? That's that's going to give you a rough estimate of what that will cost, right? Um, here in Wheeler Pay, I think we're a little bit cheaper. I don't, you know, it just depends on the type of property that you have, right? But um, give yourself, even if you charge yourself a dollar a square feet, that'll give you a rough estimate of what it will cost. Okay. Right? So. Um, it's very cheap, but if you have a small uh, area that you want to seal code, I, I would encourage you guys to try it, right? If you don't, if you feel like it's, you have a big property and you have no um, experience with it and you don't want to take a chance, you don't want to ruin what you already have, I totally respect that as well. Give us a call, right? 888-273-0077. Give us a call. You'll speak to myself. You'll speak to Efren, one of our lead estimators here. You'll speak to another uh, associate, other associates that we have here as well. And they will be, uh, it's too easy to share with you how you can go about fixing or uh, applying seal code to your asshole service or payment. Gotcha. Awesome. That's really great. So we are going to go through a variety of photos to show you guys the differences in pavements and what seal coating can be applied to and what it shouldn't be applied to because we have a lot of people wanting us to apply seal coat to really rough looking pavement and a lot of people think that seal coating is going to fill in that dent in the pavement but it just lays there it doesn't fill up anything so we're gonna go through some photos and show you guys and kind of walk you through like what's acceptable what's not acceptable and you know what works best for those type of uh, pigments. Yeah, uh, I'm glad that you embedded this portion into this video. Um, just as recent as yesterday, right? I get asked the question. There's a, there's a hole in the ground, and um, the, the the customer is asking, how do we fix that? You know, um, can just just shove some something in there to fix that? And I said, uh, well, we can definitely shove more asphalt in there, maybe cut out the old so that we can take out what's damaged and replace it with uh, asphalt. If we need to add some base rock to establish a good base, we can do that. Um, the customer, you know, asked, hey, well, why don't we just put seal coat in the hole? Well, seal coat is nothing more than just thick liquid, right? So if you put thick liquid in a hole and you push on it, it's, it's, it's going to gonna break right if it's dry enough it's gonna break if it's not dry enough it's just gonna you're gonna push your finger into liquid right so that is not that is not a good way to seal coat is is not intended for that right it's not intended to fill voids fill gaps fill holes it's intended to protect what you have right so you know let's go ahead and show them exactly what we're talking about here um, let's see what first what image pops up first so whoa <laughs> So, as funny as it may seem, and as obvious as it may seem, like I kid you not, you know, we have, you know, we encounter customers who, no fault to them, right? I want to emphasize that, no fault to them. They don't understand uh, this, and again, that's the reason why we're doing all of this, right? Is to bring light to all this information, and hopefully, at the very least, we avoid you an embarrassing conversation, right? But. Um, 
So seal coat is not intended for any of this. Uh, but I'm gonna also be honest with you, we get customers that want us to seal coat, you know, asphalt that looks like this top left one here on the screen, right? And, and we tell the customer like, hey, we can seal coat that if that's what you would like, but you're really wasting your money, right? And sometimes customers, um, you know, there's a lot of factors, right? A lot of factors. One of them could be how long are they holding on to the property, right? If they're going to get rid of that property in a year, all they want to do is to make it look good. Not fix it, just make it look good. And so for that reason, they'll press forward with getting this type of asphalt seal coated, right? And, you know, we tell a customer, hey, it's, it's not going to fix it. It's just going to mask it. If that's your intent, then yeah, we can seal code it. Um, I will always tell you, and so will my, uh, my my office staff tell you as well that we should not be seal coding something like this, right? We would never recommend you to seal code something like this. We would tell you to replace this, right? There's a few ways you can go about that. Again, if you haven't watched the asphalt video, it talks about the different options that you can exercise uh, when repairing you know, surfaces like this. So, so definitely something like that, yeah, you definitely will not be able to seal coat at all because you just see like just the big cracks, the small cracks. But what about that bottom left one? I think you could probably put seal coat on that one, right? So physically and technically, yes, you can put seal coat in there. Um, I would then ask you, what is your purpose, right? If the purpose is just to waste money, then yeah, you're going to serve that purpose very well. But if your purpose is to fix this, then... I would also tell you to remove all of this and replace it with asphalt. And then, as we do with every proposal that we send that has asphalt work included, we always add or we always include the seal coat option because we know how expensive asphalt repairs are. Um, and so we want to make sure that you are that you receive the information to protect what your investment, right? What you what you just spent on repairing your your pavement. Um, obviously, we don't need to go down uh, rabbit holes about this, right? Big pothole, you don't put seal coat on that. Big gaps, too big of gap to be able to, you know, whenever we do seal coat, one of the things that we do here, we love paving, is we crack fill, right? Anything that is less than uh, a quarter inch um, width by depth, uh, we'll put crack fill so there is nothing more than sand mixed with a little bit of a uh, hot emulsion. That, that acts as a, that acts as a, just a, a filler, right? Some people think it's like a glue. It, it, it has a little bit of that sticky uh, aspect to that emulsion um, so that the sand can be contained and, and stay in one direction, but it doesn't glue your asphalt gap or the two uh, surfaces that are on the outside of the gap together. It doesn't do that, right? So I just wanna make sure we clear that. Um, but yeah, so none, and none of these examples here would seal coat uh, be a good option unless we repair that, we remove all of that, we replace it, and then we should protect your your uh, your asphalt. So I think we have another image here, right? Uh, if you go down to that. So um, yeah, so this would be a good example of this would be a good example of. Brand new asphalt, or um, asphalt that was just installed not too long ago, that would be absolutely worth seal coating. Brand new asphalt, you add seal coat to it, can last you anywhere between 12 to 25 years. The more you protect it, the less you allow, um, I wouldn't say unauthorized vehicles, but those vehicles that shouldn't really be driving on this, even though this asphalt looks pretty thick, right? It looks like you got about four to five inches here. Um, it should be able to withstand a moving dump truck, um, you know, around this property without any issues. Um, but if you let it sit there for too long and it's just there, there for, for days on out, maybe months, weeks on out, yeah, you might start seeing a little bit of a dent wherever that vehicle is parked at, right? But, you know, this is a good example of what you do want to seal coat. We had another image. Yeah, so if you go on this one to the dragon down, it should pop up the other one. There you go. Yeah, so this is a good example, right, of 
you know, a customer who, as you can see here, um, this portion, there's already alligator cracking, which usually is an indication that the asphalt is old, um, and now the base is starting to, you know, decay or weakening, weaken a little bit, and so um, it's, the, and, the, and the asphalt has become brittle to where it can no longer flex the way it used to flex when it was first installed, right? Or in those ensuing years after it was installed. And so you start seeing these cracks, right? And so sometimes the customer doesn't have the budget to be able to remove all of this and replace this or even a grind and overlay. Cause this would be, depending on the on how thick this is, even it looks like it's a, a driveway. So it should probably be about three inches. You know, grind an overlay of an inch and replace it with an inch and a half. It's, it's a, this is a good, this property is a good candidate for that. Uh, sometimes people don't have the budget to do any of those options. So all they want to do is make their asphalt uh, look a little better or a lot better and extend the life slightly of what they have. Um, so if you are one of those customers who has a property that looks like this right now and you don't have the budget uh, to grind an overlay or remove it and replace it um, and you're just trying to extend the life by a little bit more um, again usage water pooling um, the elements right natural elements all that are factors right that you need to you need to weigh or factor in to your decision excuse me then yeah if you can only afford a seal coat then seal coat again drastically cheaper than asphalt repairs you can do that here Right. It's still, it's not gonna fix this, right? I wanna make sure you guys, it's, this is clear. It's not gonna fix this. It's gonna mask this and make this look a lot better, okay? So, um, yeah, I think those are all the images, right? I wanna go back to this one here. If you just had your asphalt installed, you know, within the last five years, within the last 10 years, and it's in good shape, you wanna do that. As you can see here in this picture, right? I wanna kinda of highlight this for a second. So this area right here, you can see that um, the aggregates that are included in the asphalt are a little more exposed here than in this area. And and it's not because hey, we're close, we, we are, the, the picture is closer to us here than it is here. No, that's not the reason. Um, the asphalt isn't going to be a consistent material where you're going to see this 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 look here across the entire asphalt there are going to be a lot of portions that are like that and you're going to have some portions like this right um there is a sticky material that is included in asphalt um it's part of the petroleum um that that kind of keeps everything together and so that's key when you have portions of your asphalt that is that looks like this that is essentially doors that are open for elements, you know, water, sunlight, oxygen to get in and start to age, age that asphalt, right? One thing we didn't talk about uh, much, and I wanna sh share that now, is there's something called oxidated aging, right? And that's nothing more than literally oxygen affecting materials. So like iron, right? If, when oxygen hits iron, it begins it begins to rust, right? So, um, same, it's no different for asphalt, right? Oxygen, wind, water, sunlight will affect that and begin to age your asphalt. But when you apply seal coat to it, all those little voids that you see, all those little gaps or those opening, those doors that are open for the elements, um, you close that essentially with seal coat, right? And that's, when we say, hey, seal coat extends the life of your asphalt, that's literally it, right? Everything that I just explained right now. You apply seal coat to this, every little gap that it has on the side, on the top, it closes those doors and it seals that to, pr to, to protect it from the sunlight, water, oxygen, wind, so on and so forth and that is how it extends your life and it also that's how it prevents potholes it's not going to prevent pothole by having a dump truck sit on your pavement for, for months on out it's not going to prevent those type of models it's going to prevent potholes that stem from 
asphalt that has aged and become brittle to where it no longer flexes uh, to be able to contain or, or uh, maintain its form. That's really good. I, I like that. I like that walkthrough we went to. You have any other questions? If not, I got more information that I can, more knowledge that I can share about Sioko. No, man, you're like a like a library. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, uh, let, let me share this real quick while you think of if you, if you can find another question. Um, yeah, yeah, I love it. If not, no worries. Um, so, some people talk about slurry seal. Some people talk about seal coat. What is the difference of the two? You know, they both are great tools to again protect your your protect your asphalt right slurry seal you'll find that more so on highways um, because it's it's intended for um, areas where the traffic's the traffic is moving at a high rate of speed right and that's why it's it's a little bit thicker than seal coat but for areas like driveways like uh, commercial parking lots, especially if they're small, um, even some of those medium-sized shopping centers, right? Because the traffic is moving slower, um, and there you don't have the same rate of uh, yeah, you don't have the same rate of speed or the same amount of traffic that highways uh, encounter every single day. Seal code is a better option for that that type of uh, uh, of area of work, right? So. And what people don't know is, uh, I think what se seems to be the, the, the most recent trend is slurry seal seems to be a little bit more popular than seal coat. Um, and I don't, I don't view it that way. I think they're both important. It just depends on what you're trying to seal. If it's highway, I would tell you slurry seal. If it's a parking lot where the traffic isn't moving that fast and it's not, uh, you, you don't have as much traffic, then seal coat is the better option. Slurry seal, by the way, is two times more expensive than seal coat. So it's just a factor for you guys to understand. But more importantly, try to think about what is it that you're trying to apply a sealer to. Parking lot, driveway, seal coat. Highway, slurry seal. Okay. Another thing, again, I just continue to think about other knowledge that I can share with you guys about seal coat. Um, there are different, there are two types, two of the more, yeah, two types of seal coat. There is a coal based um, seal coat, um, and then there is an asphalt based seal coat, right? Um, the, the real difference there is um, one is made by way of coals and the other one is made by way of asphalt, right? That's, that's the difference. Um, where you where you are applying seal, the location will have a have a say on what type of sealer you can apply to your asphalt. There are various counties, states um, that don't allow you to use coal-based asphalt. Here we love paving. We use seal coat because here in the state of California, um, a huge concern is environmental. Right? Um, coal-based coal-based seal coat or sealer. Um, you know, has some some uh, hazardous chemicals that are dangerous not only to the, the species out there, uh, you know, animals, but also you know humans as well, right? So uh, there are a few chemicals off the top of my head that I can remember uh, that kind of um, affect you. Um, ice isocyanite, that's, that's actually an isocyanite is one of them, and then talit. Talit is the other one, right? Those. Those are the ones that I remember because I know that whenever we have our guys working, we want to make sure that we're applying seal coat. Even though here we don't use coal-based seal coat or sealer, um, and we use asphalt-based sealer, um, we still want to make sure that our workers have as have mass because those two chemicals can definitely lead to the development of asthma or severe asthma attacks if you already have asthma. So, just again, just general information about seal coat um, that would be useful to you could be factors in you determining what option you want to go with um, as you are assessing how to repair your, your pavement needs. Um, what else, what else, what else? Do you have any other questions? Yeah, actually, so a lot of them, 
do seem to be kind of ones you already answered. So I'm just gonna skip all those. And we do have this one that asks, how long does the seal coating process take? And I think what they mean by that is, like, how long do I have to wait until I can use my, you know, parking lot or pavement or, you know, walkway? Yeah, so general rule um, for seal coat, give it at least 48 hours to completely dry. 48 hours to completely dry. If it's the, the bigger it is, the more, the more, you, more time you want to give it, right? You'll never go wrong if you give it seven days to completely dry, fully. But we understand there are some shopping centers that can't afford that, right? Can you open up a lot or a portion of your driveway uh, to traffic the following day? You can, you can, but now you gotta kind of tailor your expectation, right? Some of that, depending on how people drive, can, can be damaged uh, through their driving. But again, if you want to be safe, at the very least, for something somewhere between small and medium size, I would wait at least 48 hours. If it's large, you might want to wait a week. But again, if, if you can't, if you need to open up the very next day, you can. Um, just be a, just be aware that it, there, there may be some um, some of that area that, that just got seal coated, a little bit damaged, right? Um, another thing to mention about seal coat is once you open up your lot, um, say you waited seven days and you use vehicle starts drive, driving on it and then you start seeing tracks of vehicle, that is that is completely that is completely normal, right? Um, seal coat as part of breaking in seal coat, right? So to speak. Cars start driving it, it's pushing it down. Some of the surface level seal coat that uh, that didn't really uh, seep into your asphalt or uh, you know glue with the rest of the the seal coat um, just kind of comes off and, and, and gets on easily gets on the tires of vehicles. But that is that's just part of the the um, the natural post effects of seal coat. I think that's really great you mentioned that because I I think that a lot of people do get freaked out when when they see that they're like hey you know. You guys just came in and seal coated in this whole parking lot and now it has a bunch of marks of it everywhere, you know, what happened to that or, you know, they probably come in a little bit later after, you know, we had finished and they're like, hey, you guys made a mess, you know, but they don't know that, like you mentioned, it has a break-in process time that will go away over time by itself. The less time you give it to dry, the, the more potential there is for that, so just keep that in mind as well. Uh, what else you got is Mel, or is that it um that's pretty much it but one thing i didn't see in here that i was actually thinking about to myself was when it comes to seal coating is it one coat enough or do you guys recommend x amount of coats to put over the pavement so, so what a phenomenal question and i'm glad you asked that um so depending on what your asphalt surface is if it's yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back up. Um, is it here? The images? Yeah, it's here. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Okay. So, if your asphalt looks like this right here, one coat of seal coat is more than enough. But if your asphalt looks like that, some of that seal coat material that you see above the asphalt surface will kind of go into that void or those gaps in between the asphalt surface, right? And so some of that seal coat will kind of get wasted by going into that. So uh, a second a second coat may be necessary to make sure that this asphalt here is completely sealed with seal coat. Okay, so it just depends on what your asphalt looks like. That's a great question. Yeah, I know. I was looking through them and I didn't. <laughs> I didn't see any, I'm just like, hmm, I think that's a really good question that somebody missed out on. Yeah. Don't and oh, by the way, like the more seal coat you put, right, it's just kind of, it's a kind of common sense, right? Like, because you have big cracks um, and you just want to mask what you have and you're trying to protect that, um, a lot of that seal coat material gets wasted by going in there. And so in order to get the proper seal, you know, that, that company's going to require more seal coat material, which is going to 
raise your price. So just that's another factor for you guys to keep in mind as well. All right, David. Well, I think that covers everything for today for seal coating. Um, unless you have everything else, you know, we've definitely covered a lot, you know, today. And I mean, there's still so much more about pavement that we can cover in future videos. Yeah, and, and uh, you alluded to it, right? Like the more we can think of, I got hiccups, sorry. Not sure, poor timing, but as we continue on in this journey, uh, we may do, you know, a second version of maintenance, a second ver a second video for a second version of, of maintenance or asphalt or concrete, because the, the more information that we can bring to you, the better, right? Um, but again, you know, we encourage you guys, you know, get engaged, you know, follow us, you know, join us on this journey so that we can make this a very useful experience and beneficial experience to all those um, who decide to watch, right? Um, and if you know someone that may be uh, in need of repairing their pavement, you know, have them tune in, you know, have them become informed, have them give us a call, right? And, and we'd be more than, help, uh, more than happy to help anyone. Um, I know I've been promised you, promising you guys for a couple of weeks now that we would talk about ADA. We're finally gonna get to it. We're finally gonna get to it, right? Uh, we've been trying different things, trying to bring in the, trying to bring in some, some you know different types of experts, task inspectors to come here and join us on this. Um, but getting those guys uh, to become available for something like this is, is relatively hard, as they they have. A greater purpose that they're serving which is getting out there and assessing uh, the community pavements uh, so that people have everyone has the opportunity to, to frequent uh, any establishments that are out there right so totally understandable but nevertheless we are gonna bring ADA a session of ADA which ADA is pretty extensive so we may have to do multiple videos on that um, and we're gonna we're gonna also share with you guys an ADA project that we just completed this week. So we'll show that to you next week um, as that will be our video. It's, it will be, the topic will be ADA. Um, anything else that you have in mind as well? We're gonna definitely take our time with ADA to give you the right information and cover everything that needs to be covered. Yeah. Questions, comments, concerns, uh, sharing of knowledge, put it in the, in the comment section. Down below. We encourage you guys, we're asking you guys, we're imploring you guys to please get engaged and do that. Um, thank you for your time, for all those that continue to join us on this journey. For those that are new, thank you for stopping by. We also ask that you continue on in this journey. Stay tuned as we're gonna bring more and more information to you and continue to evolve this, uh, to, to just make this an ultimately, ultimately a better experience. Don't forget about us. We love paving. If you need any of these services that we have listed here, anything that I've covered, if you have any questions, give us a call, 888-273-0077. I'm David from We Love Paving. That's Ismael. Don't forget about us. We love paving. Have a good one.